today we shall reflect on the life of St Thomas Aquinas St Thomas was received as a benedictine oblate at Monte Cassino at the age of 5 he entered the Naples University at 11 and went on to become a dominican at the age of 18 but his family one of italy's most prominent by virtue of its being related to emperor frederick the 2 bitterly resented his joining and kept him imprisoned in a tower for 2 years during this confinement however his sister procured for him the scriptures and books on philosophy after his escape affected by some dominican friars by way of letting him down in a basket like saint paul he was found to have mastered the subject so well that he was sent to cologne and paris to complete his studies under saint albert the great post ordination and a doctorate in theology he started to teach with such lucidity accuracy and inspiration that students were attracted by the thousands the university of paris at that time counted 30000 students this angelic doctor and prince of catholic theologians was the principal exponent of scholastic philosophy which interpreted aristotle's system in the light of christian teaching in his relatively short life of 49 years he is known to have composed some 60 works far surpassing everything else was his unrivaled summa theologica a summary of christian philosophy and theology having first invoked god's assistance in contemplation and prayer before taking up any study thomas would become so absorbed in his work that a friar had to be appointed to ensure that he did not completely forget his meals and rest when faced with the interpretation of obscure bible passages he would undertake special fasts and heaven came to his aid in a definite and supernatural way for that alone can explain his extraordinary intellectual powers and sanctity the beautiful office and mass for corpus christi with its much loved hymns tanto ergo and o salutare hostia were composed by him on the pope's orders thomas died while on his way to the council of lyons He was canonized by Pope John the 22nd on 18th of July 1323 elevated to the dignity of doctor of the church by Pope Pius V on 11th April 1567 and in the year 1918 his name was included in the code of canon law among other citations Thomas Aquinas has also been declared the special patron of all catholic universities and educational institutions